Luke chapter 3, John the Baptist. Now, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea in the south, and Herod, being king of Galilee, here it says Tetrarch, of Galilee, in the north in Israel, Herod was an Adamite, so-called Jew, and his brother Philip was Tetrarch of Iturea. This Iturea is that perhaps Idumea, Idumea, Zaire, and Edom are all names for Esau. In the region of Traconitus and Lusanius, the Tetrarch of Abilene, Anas and Caiaphas being the high priests, <coughs> the word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. And begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. Note this verbiage of trees and fruit and connect it with Genesis. And the original sin. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? And he answered and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to one, well, to him that hath none, and he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man. Neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. How, it, how can it be that a soldier will not do violence to a man? And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water. But one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. And will garner the wheat into his garner, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people, but Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias, 
his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod the Edomite, the progeny of Esau, had done. God hates Esau. That's why. Added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee am I well pleased. Now don't be surprised if this sort of a scenario transpires when the man of sin comes. I do not know. I'm just surmising it could be. We do not know. We, we need to be prepared, though. We need to gird up the loins of our mind for what is taking place and what's to come and not rest on our laurels. Now the corona is gone. Don't worry. There's more to come. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, as it was supposed, the son of Joseph. Now this is the beginning of the litany of names, which we are told that is the... Yes, this is Haley, which was the son of Mother. Okay, this is the genealogy of Mary, supposedly. And because Joseph was Mary's husband, he is considered also the son of Haley, which was Mary's father. I don't know if this genealogy is true. I know that the Messiah is of Israel, of Ephraim, and I do believe that both Joseph and Mary are of Ephraim. I do not believe they are of Levi, of Aaron, of Judah. <clears throat> and you know why? Because I've met many tapes on this. So I'm not going to go through this genealogy here. Jesus, chapter 4, the temptation in the wilderness. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. I just wonder, this forty days, this recurs, occurs and recurs in the Bible quite often. Rain forty days and forty nights. Um, the deluge. Um, Goliath was marching before the troops of Israel. Um, defaming the Lord God Almighty 40 days and 40 nights. Ostensibly, the man of sin will rule for one hour, which could also be 40 days and 40 nights. I don't know. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, Messiah was. In those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee. In the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, you see, prove it to me. Prove it. Satan is detailing then the proof required. If 
thou be the Son of God. Cast thyself down from hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. That is Psalm 91. He shall keep, give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread under the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Shalt thou trample under feet. So you have Messiah saying it is written, and you have Satan saying it is written. Satan knows the Bible, and so do his minions. Do they ever? Don't take that as criteria that they're not Satanists. This is how, this is how they win souls. Deception. Twisting the scriptures, which they know inside and out. Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. God will not be tempted. God will not be mocked. Just keep looking for your proof. Maybe one day you'll find it. And when the evil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Jesus rejected at Nazareth. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. He came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. He closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. The eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, Capernaum, this is where Herod ruled from Capernaum, in Israel. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, which is Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, three and a half years, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elias sent, saved unto Sarepta, a city of Zidon. Unto a woman that was a widow. Remember that story? She was gathering sticks. One stick here, one stick there. Many lepers were in Israel in the name of Elijah the prophet. Notice how they keep changing his name. <laughs> None of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. This is also 
a story that you can read about in the days of King Ahab and Elijah and Elisha and Yehu. And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way, and came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man, which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and heard him not. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Fame. The sick healed devils cast out. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her, and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. They knew by seeing him. They knew by his word. They didn't say, Prove it to us. We need proof. And he, rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. They knew. How? How? And when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place, and the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he, sent unto, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep. And let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down a net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net brake. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and held, help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And also was James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto him, unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth, Thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who, seeing Jesus, 
fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing according as Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But so much the more went there the fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. You see, we are all infirm. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed.